Morning guys, it's about 5.15 a.m. Gonna start with an unboxing and today's video might be kind of short. This package came in yesterday, late in the day, and it's something I've wanted to do for a while. I'll let you know that I got this package off of eBay. It's something that normally costs 300 to 300 and, I don't know, 90 bucks or $400. And uh, I'll show it to you and then explain to you my reasoning behind it. Airsoft BB in the box. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, hardware kit. More hardware. So, this is a Wabasto coolant pump. I know some of you are wondering, well, what am I doing with the Eberspacher uh, heater or whatever now? Well, here's the thing. I'm using a Toyota Prius pump, which is significantly smaller than this. And on the other side of things, it also... Um, is rated for like 14 and a half volts for its flow rate. So what happens is overnight as the battery level goes down from the heater turning on and off, the flow rate decreases. Whereas this unit is about 80% more efficient and it's rated at like 11 and a half volts. So the flow rate actually stays within the parameters of what the Eberspacher requires. So the Prius pumps do work and they work well. However, they're not as efficient as an actual Wabasto or Eberspacher pump. And on a side note, these are normally, like I said, uh, top price on these is about 400 bucks. I got this for 110 bucks shipped off of eBay. And uh, it's something that I've been keeping an eye out for because I know they do pop up on occasion. And so I'm going to swap the uh, Prius pump out for this pump today. And another thing that I just noticed is this plug looks very similar to the heater, the pre, the fuel preheating plug that I uh, installed yesterday on that new um, water fuel separator bowl. So if, I'm wondering if I cut that plug off, I can use that under the vehicle to, to make this like an OEM style setup. So, I guess the first thing I'll do is um, go out to the truck and see if this plug matches up with that fuel preheater and then cut that off, redo that with the OEM style plug, and then we'll get to working on this. So let's get started.
was able to get the Prius pump off of there. Look at the size difference in these things. There's just really no comparison. Set them right next to each other and they, uh, you begin to see why one's more efficient than the other one. I need to run to uh, Walmart and grab a couple different fittings because this is three quarter and the hose that I have ran is, is five eighths. So, and that plug that was on the pre the fuel preheater was perfect. So I was able to make that up and then put the OEM one back on to um, uh, the the truck wiring, so or the fuel uh, preheater wiring. So this. Well, Bosto pump comes with a um, mounting bracket and whatnot. But before I do that, I gotta run to the store and because I don't have any three-quarter inch hose, or find an adapter that goes from uh, three-quarter to five-eighths or something. So, be back. I didn't have anything, so I spent a whopping sixteen dollars on a preformed uh, three-quarter heater hose, and then I grabbed two feet of. Uh, three-quarter uh, heater hose at this uh, wonderful place. Actually, open at 7.30 would surprise me, so. Back to the home. guys it took forever sorry about that but uh, I like this new setup and the way it's mounted I was able to use the entire kit the way it was designed with the uh, mounting bracket on the existing strut that I had in there and uh, the hose comes right into the top where it's supposed to and then that three quarter inch preformed 90. Oh, it's hard to see. Comes right into the top of the uh, 
ever spot you there. Kind of hidden behind this one. If I get a good angle. I can't even see the camera, so I don't know if it's showing it or not, but. So yeah. There's probably an air pocket in this now since it was leaking all over the place, but let's see if this pump's powerful enough to uh, do a draw and get the system running. All right, let's turn the uh, override on on this bar. Let's see if she's gonna run. Feels like the pump's running. A lot quieter in the other one. Oh boy, here we go. I love this little hydronic setup. It's uh, so awesome. So hopefully that pump will be able to push the air pockets out. come back here and uh, I'm gonna go in the shelter so we're waiting for the fan to turn on here uh, once the coolant reaches a certain temperature it automatically turns the fan on so it was able to uh, pump the air bubbles out of the system it looks like I was down there holding on to the hose and it feels like the coolant's getting pumped through it so that's something the Prius pump needed help with I would have to disconnect the hoses up here and uh, burp the system but it looks like uh, the Wabasto pump can overcome that hence the more efficient design so uh, let's see here feel oh yeah that that line's getting pretty warm so once it senses that it's at a optimum temperature, it will turn the fan on on the heater here. And uh, that's a done deal for this project. I'll come back here once it turns on. All right, the fan turned on. We're getting some nice warm air coming out of here. So yeah, it's definitely uh, Big improvement on that pump. Now I understand why they cost so much. Morning, how's it going? Going good. I just saw your wife you said that you were under. Oh yeah, I'm always out here screwing around. Thank you again. All right. No, that's all right. You're fine. You'll be a a, a star on my YouTube channel now. <laughs> See you later, Chris. That's my, uh, one of my neighbors that lives down the street, his name is Chris. He always likes to check on me and see how things are going. Let's go under here and see how things are going. Oh yeah. Nice and warm. The intake line coming back, it's nice and cool, just the way it's supposed to be. That means the pump is flowing in the right direction. Pretty good, uh, pretty good deal for 110 bucks to be able to upgrade the pump like that. So, I think that's going to be it for me today. Oh, there's one more thing I forgot about. This is for uh, my friend on Facebook. 
His name is GR Brent. He was asking about the transmission stick. So give me a second here. I'll pull it out and show it to you. So if you're watching, I don't know if I'll be able to focus on this. Let's see. There we go. So the, this is a transmission dipstick. This is what it should look like. You've got a bunch of different lines on it. You've got a cold add, cold full, and hot add, and hot full. I don't know if there's anything on the back side. I don't think there is. This might be the part number for this dipstick. So if you want to pause the video and take a look, see if you can find that maybe on eBay. That might be the part number for the dipstick. I am not sure. But just wanted to show you what that looks like. I know you requested that, so there you go. Aside from that, we're taking Abel up on a little uh, trip into Washington today, so you might see something about that in an upcoming video. If you guys like this video, as always, give me a thumbs up. subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time see you later bye bye